Hi, hi, I'm Nina, I'm an illustrator and comic artist, and today I'm gonna teach you how to draw pumpkins. We always start with a good base and sketch. Usually it's a circle, but since we're talking about pumpkins, we are not gonna use the circle. We're gonna make more of a organic shape. So it's kind of round, but not very round on the top. So this is our base shape for the pumpkin. Okay, so uh, usually when I have something that I'm, I have to make symmetrical, I draw a line in the middle. But we are not gonna use this line on the pumpkin. We are drawing the line, but we are making the divisions. And then we are erasing the line because I don't want the line in the middle you better have a space in the middle when you're drawing a pumpkin and you can keep dividing it and I guess these are enough now, I like to make a new layer for this so that we, we still have the base here if we need later and we can now make the shape of it we are gonna make some round shapes up here I mean it's not round shapes it's curvy curvy shapes up here and we can add some more on the background because you know it's a pumpkin goes around and I'm gonna do the same down here I'm gonna do the curvy shapes using my sketch lines because we did them for a reason right So after I get a clean drawing out of it, I get clean shapes, we can take off the sketch and we do have a nice shape of a pumpkin, right? Now let's add the details. Let's make this thingy up here. English is not my first language, so I don't know how you guys call it. Uh, now let's make an expression. I like my pumpkin to be a little bit like mischievous. So let's make kind of an angry face. But it's like an angry face that the pumpkin is having fun. So we are gonna give the pumpkin a pretty smile. Things get more spooky when the smile is very large, like really big, you know? So you go further than the eyes for this. You make the smile larger than the eyes and you have it very spooky. Then I erase the parts that are on the holes. And after I made the smile, I think this smile is too simple. I think it's lacking detail. So let's add some detailing. Let's give him some pointy teeth. Easier than carving, isn't it? Well, at least I think it's easier than carving. Uh, I can make two more down here.
Ta-da! We do have the full shape of our pumpkin. So let's go and ink this. Since inking can be a little boring, I'm just gonna speed it up. So tada, we do have a really nice pumpkin line art. Uh, it kind of looks like a clip art, but um, I promise you it's gonna look better after we color it. Let's start adding some colors. It's gonna be a classic pumpkin, so orange of course. Let's get a nice reddish saturated orange. Boo, I really like it. And for these parts inside here, uh, we are going to make two different versions of it. So we are going to make one of the versions just will be just dark inside and the other version will have a light source in it. So I'm making a separate layer for this 3D part of the pumpkin here, for this carved part. I'm gonna use uh, brown for this one because this is the dark version and also for this little thing on the top so on this first version we are gonna make it dark so let me make another layer below everything and give it a almost black color let's add some shadows to our pumpkin i don't like to go straight down some people just go to the color just get the color and go straight down or straight to the left i don't like this i usually get a color a little bit uh, on a different place on the color wheel i like it to be more red-ish so i'm going to the red side And this is going to be my first layer of shadows. I'm covering everything on the back. Thank you. 
and the higher parts of the pumpkin and when I say the higher parts I mean the parts that are hit by the light first are gonna be left with this color the base color and then I'll start blending in If you use a different software, you can make it a little different. Maybe you can use the airbrush tool or a brush that already paints and blends like people do in Photoshop. But I use Clip Studio Paint, so I have a tool just for blending. So that I can make these shadows a little more smooth. I like soft shading. I think soft shading works really well for this. So hey, it was actually fast. If we take off the shading and we look at the plain pumpkin, it looks completely different. At least for me, it looks completely different. So I like to add a little more depth. So I'm going for an even darker color. And I'm adding more here. And on the edge of the shadow. But not on the lighter parts, of course. Now we get a um, smaller tip for the blending tool and blend in the darker shadow. Along with the previous one. So what do you think of the pumpkin so far? I think it's looking really nice. Looks kind of fancy. Now, if we take off the deeper shading, like, do you see the difference? In my opinion, it makes a huge difference. It looks way better with a darker shade and we can make it look even better because we are gonna add a little lightning just a little bit, little hint of light, because usually Halloween takes place at night and you don't, don't want to use strong lighting here. I'm going to the yellow side of the color wheel for a little bit and I'm taking a slightly lighter color. Let us make a test. I'm getting the airbrush tool and I'm going here on the top Part, and when I mean the top part, it's not the top of the drawing. It's just the higher part of the pumpkin, the part that goes more to the front. So it gets hit by the light first. So let's add a little bit of lighting to it. Still in soft shading. And ta-da! Looks really cool, huh? We can go here and get some darker brown. And add some shadowing here and a darker one. At least two shadows, guys. 
you can also use another one another layer another blue layer but we, we are gonna talk about this later let's not mix things up so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna get all the layers i have here and put them in a folder so when i move the folder i move everything together and let's copy and paste and make it two pumpkins now we do have two pumpkins they are twins they're very cute and the second pumpkin we are gonna change this black inside and we are gonna make it on other another color so we are gonna get the same brown we have here we used before and we are gonna paint the black brown but it's a light source why aren't you doing it yellow you're gonna get it soon i'm not doing it yellow and then i'm getting another color closer to the pumpkin color and using it for these parts because when we change the lights everything gets a little bit different i'm gonna explain it as i paint So this is a choice, you guys can decide the way you want to make it, how you think it's better. But the dark pumpkin basically, it's easier to finish. We already have this black part, so let's go back to it. As I said before, I didn't get the black black, I got a dark color but that is not black black. Okay, We hardly ever use black black. So I still can get a darker, even darker color and I'm gonna spray it around on the edges of just these black layers. So as you can see if I zoom in, this part here is lighter, it's still a little bit lighter than the edges and we do have a part here to this. We are gonna add some shading to the inner part as well. We are gonna make get a darker brown. And we are gonna add some shading according to the outer shading here. So yep, that's it. Our empty pumpkin is done. This is what you get. Now let's go for the pumpkin with a candle inside or a light source inside. So what we're gonna do here, uh, we have the, let me go to the correct folder. We have the inner part that we painted brown and we're gonna mask it. Then we'll get a yellowish color it can be a little orangey, we can we will get this yellowish color and the airbrush and we are gonna make the inner light uh, a candle is not a very strong light source so that's why we didn't paint it yellow all yellow on the inside because we are making the oh, we are making the lightning and we can get a lighter color we can get closer to white and then we get a smaller and we make it a little hint here just to increase the range of the light looks cool doesn't it now it doesn't look like a clip art anymore does it okay so for the pumpkin on the left, we consider that the light source was outside. Now, for this other pumpkin, the light source is inside, but it's not a strong light source. So it's probably not gonna affect the outside of the pumpkin that much. What we are gonna do is... We do have this inner part here. Let's add some lightning to it. It's like the lightning is coming from the inside. So we have this yellowish color heating on here. I'm using the airbrush. You can leave some 
orangey edges because the light, as I said before, is not very strong. It doesn't really heat and everything. And you can get a lighter color. Same thing as before, closer to white. Get a smaller tip and do some detailing. And add this lightning. Okay, so is it done? No, it's not. We are making a splash, a little splash of light. Oh no, I don't want to make it here. Okay, so let me move the layer. I want to make it... This is an artist's choice, okay? You can make it under the inking if you want, but I don't want to make it because like when we make it under the inking, you get this black line so strong that you don't feel like the light is coming through the eyes. You feel like the eyes are on the light and it doesn't feel right for me. So I'm making a new layer on the top of the inking layer, but it's not a mask. So it's not a clipping layer. Um, and it's just above everything. It's just a, a layer, a loose layer above everything. And now, as you can see, it covers the inking. And now it feels like, it actually feels like the lighting is coming from the eye. And you make this little hint of light coming out of the face of the pumpkin. It's coming out of the carving. And ta-da! That's it. That's our pumpkin tutorial. We do have an empty pumpkin on the left and a pumpkin with a candle inside on the right. You don't really have to draw the candle if you don't want. If you want, you can draw a candle, but honestly, I just feel like a light source looks really cool and I don't think it needs a candle. I think it gets confusing if you add too much information to it. So I hope you guys enjoy it and if you try this tutorial, if you draw this, you can join our Discord and send it there. So we can see it too. I want to see your drawings. Like if we take off the shading and looks at the and look at the play global. And as you can see, it makes the volume look. Oh no! I can't believe this. I can't believe this. All of a sudden, someone decides to turn on the radio really, really loud at 9 in the morning. So, okay, let's cut this part, right?